Welcome back to another video. From today, I'm going to show you how you can create a blog website using Laravel. So let's start the video. First of all, what you need uh, is you have to install Jamf in your PC and then you need a code editor for this. And uh, here you can see I have installed Jamf in my PC. So if you don't know how to install, you can actually check our uh, videos. So we have actually uh, shown you how you can install it. You just have to actually go to the browser and go for the jamp and you have to download the jamp and install it. Here you can see the first link. You can go and then download the latest one. If you want to know uh, individual way, I mean how you can actually install jamp uh, step by step, you can actually follow our video. I'm going to add the video in the I button. Okay. And uh, now let's say I am assuming that you have installed Jamf in your PC. So here you can see I have Jamf here. So in my case, actually, I have installed it in W drive. Here you can see you can actually install it in C drive or any drive actually you want. So here you will find a folder like Jamf. You can see and then you have to go to the stdocs. And inside stdocs actually we will keep all the uh, folder. Okay. I mean all the project. So I'm going to create a project for the blog, right? Laravel project. For this, I have to actually start Apache and MySQL server. Why? Because uh, we know for the PHP, we need a server, right? And that is the reason actually we need Apache server here. All right, I have started both server, Apache and MySQL. Now I'm going to actually create the project here. So here inside stdocs, I will type CMD. Here you can see in this address bar, I will uh, enter here and you can see there is a uh, command prompt. Okay, I mean CMD. So here I will say at first, uh, okay, you need to download Composer and uh, you need to download Node.js and everything. Uh, you can follow our Laravel playlist uh, so that you can understand well Laravel. You, ha you have to actually uh, know the basic, right? Then you can actually start the project. So uh, I'm going to actually create the uh, project here. And for this, I'm going to say here Composer global require Laravel slash installer press enter and okay now i'm going to say laravel new and the new project let's say i want to create a project of blog right blog lara press enter i'll say here none press enter i will actually say here zero and here i'm going to select mysql uh would you run uh, the default database migration i will say no would you like to run npm install and we'll say yes let's say here i can see we have actually created the project right all right okay done everything is done now we will go for the code editor here you can see i have installed visual studio code in my pc so you have to install it if you don't know how to install it we have a video on it actually i will add it uh, in the description or i button okay so yeah that's it and now i will actually open the folder here so i will go here and i will drag and drop this okay here all right now i'll go for the dot env and here you can see uh, we have here the database blog lara so i'm going to actually uh, create a database uh, with the same name so i'll go here and make sure you have uh, turned on the apache and mysql server now you say here localhost slash php my admin my admin press enter here i'm going to create a new database and i'm going to give it a name paste blog lara create all right so we have a database of blog lara and uh, we'll go to the code editor and here we have everything all right now uh, now let's go for the migration so we know uh, we have a migration file in the database and then migration and here you can see by default we have user table so i'm going to add here uh, after the password i'm going to add here user type so i'm going to say dollar table and here i'm going to say string user type and the column name will be what user type and here the default one default one will be user okay so um, we'll actually keep here two type of user one is for the admin i mean who will uh, write the post okay 
and another one is for the normal user who will actually read the post and if you want you can actually comment so i mean comment here right okay so yeah you know, we will actually keep here only two user we will not uh, keep like author author can register no not like this every single one will be actually registered as user and we will actually create uh, admin from the database okay uh, so uh, we need email name and password everything we have here and now we need to actually migrate it so i'll go here and i will say php artisan migrate press enter uh, okay so we have to actually change the directory right we are currently we are in stdocs so we have to go to the project and here if i say dir you can see our project name is blog lara so i'm going to say here cd blog lara it will actually took me to the blog lara and here i'm going to say uh, cls to clear the screen and here i'm going to say php artisan serve to serve the uh, i mean laravel okay i mean to run the uh, laravel server and here you can see so we can actually write here instead of 127.0.0.1 we'll actually write here local host and then we have to mention the port number and that is 8000 and we will not do anything here we will actually minimize it we will go for the terminal here you can see new terminal and here uh, you can see we are in blog lara so from here we will say php artisan migrate for the migration and here you can see migrated successfully right okay let's go and check the database here you can see this is the blog lara database and we have everything here and we have user here and here you can see we have id email email verified password user type right we have user type also but uh, here you can see we have no user so we'll actually go for the registration system also but at first i'm going to go to the local host colon 8000 and this is the laravel uh, home page here you can see this is our this will be our home page okay so we'll actually uh, go here and if i go to the views here you can see resources and then views we have a welcome blade dot php right so if i say here uh, let's say and if i refresh you will find welcome to our blog there is nothing okay so this is the home page right now here we need a registration button and login button for the user right so let's go for it so i'm going to do this in the next video so see you in the next video till then goodbye